Good day, this is Julie and I welcome you all back once again dito sa ating channel. And today po, we will be talking about how to answer your unfamiliar board exam questions. Why do we have this concept or why do we have this segment dito sa ating channel? It's because not all of those questions given in your board exam or not all of those questions na may encounter natin sa examination ay nabasa natin, na ituro sa nursing school, sa review, or kahit saan. No, that's why we say that these are unfamiliar concepts, unfamiliar board exam questions. And today, right here, pag-aaralan po natin ang lahat ng yan. That's why, huwag kayong aalis. Ayan. We are back and today, yun nga, we will be tackling about how to answer your unfamiliar board exam questions. You know what, in every questions in the board exam or in every question sa NCLEX or sa board exam ninyo, you are always given 25%. 15 to 25%. Why? Because there are some questions where in the options ay umaabot ng hanggang lima. Minsan may letter E. Minsan sa SATA, nag yung format. But most of those questions na merong four options lamang, the chances for us to win or, or the chances for us to get the right answer is always set at 25%. Say for example, upon this question, which of the following is least true about nursing? So you are given 25% no? before you give your answer, meron ka ng 25% of a chance to get the right answer. And today, we will be teaching you paano natin yung gagawin at 50% papuntang 100%. Okay? Those are the things that we will, we will be tackling today. But before that, of course, I will be teaching you actually there are only two, two things that you have to remember here. No? Uh, dalawang bagay lang ang kailangan maalala natin. Before we take the board exam, no? You have to remember these two very important things na naituro ni Sir Jun Lee. Okay, that's why makinig tayo, manood tayo, huwag tayong pipikit, at nandito na. First is that you need to understand the question. Okay, in understanding the question, di ba, binibigay na kasi yung direction eh. There is a direction in the examination, you read carefully, yun, alam na alam na natin yan. But what is more, more important is that you need to understand the question. Before you proceed to your options, you must first understand the question. Okay? Minsan, nagtatagal yung mga estudyante in, in, in reading the options given or the choices given below without first understanding the question. Okay? Mahalaga na alam na alam na natin kung ano yung tinatanong. Kasi later on, we will be able to determine upon the choices given because we already know what is being asked. Okay? Now, in understanding your question, I have personally created my very own model or my very own technique how to understand your question or how to uh, paano natin sa kakainin ng options no paano natin tatalunin ng options uh, I mean ang questions given by the by the uh, board of nursing okay I have given you a way how to do that now in your question example here Iba-iba po ang, ang questions that will be given to us. No, merong mahaba, meron namang maiikli. And uh, I have given you actually a harder uh, type of question here na kung saan mas mahaba siya. No? For us to be able to really kumbaga grasp what is being taught here ngayon sa araw na to. I will be reading to you the question at mamaya I will be discussing to you paano natin kakainin ang question na ito. Sabi dito, Mr. and Mrs. Santos have been married for 5 years and have avoided pregnancy during that time on the advice of the physician. Mrs. Santos had corrective heart surgery as an infant and there was fear that pregnancy might be unwise. Yan. After consultation with a cardiologist, the couple was advised that conception would be safe and with regular care during the pregnancy, problems would be avoided. Mrs. Santos has visited the physician every two weeks and complies with the dietary advice and her blood pressure remains stable. Which of the following daw would most likely indicate a potential problem for a pregnant client with a history of heart disease? Ngayon dito, 
because we are still on the topic of understanding your question, pikit muna natin ang ating mga ta sa mga options given below. Okay? Ipikit muna, wag muna babasahin ang mga options that are given below. You know what? Dito natin aaralin ang type ng question na to. I mean, paano natin kakainin, paano natin ngunguyain ang question na to. I personally created the technique how to do that. Okay. Now, for me, there are two parts of your question. Okay? The one that I highlighted in yellow is a different part. No? Ibang part yan. Okay? Ng, ng option ninyo. And it, in, ito naman na merong uh, line no? na parang in natin. Ibang part yan ng question. Now, this one na parang in natin siya, that is what we call as your hint. Okay? Ang hint ninyo, class, it tells the story, it tells the situation, no? Which, which might help, which actually most of the time really helps you understanding the situation or the question itself, no? But it is not the question proper itself, okay? Hindi pa siya yung question. Diyan palang kinikwento, okay? Diyan kinikwento, class, kung ano ba yung tanong. Okay? That is what we call as your hint. Upon the other hand, ito namang highlighted in yellow. This is what, what we call as your lead. No? Dito, which of the following would most likely indicate a potential problem for a client with a history of heart disease? It is actually in lead wherein the question is really being asked. Okay? This is the part wherein the question is directly asked no? upon those who are taking the exam. Okay? The hint and the lead. In this example, the situation, na si Mrs. Santos, na buntis, ganyan, yan. Okay? Kung ano yung ginawa nila, that is what we call as your hint. Maari siyang makatulong, class, sa lead natin, but it does not happen all of the time. Because there are some questions, class, automatically, uh, kumbaga dumidiretso na siya sa lead. Now, mahalaga na maalam natin what is the hint, what is the lead of our question. Simply lang. Si hint, that is your situation itself, at dito naman si lead, that is the question proper. You need to remember that. You know what, as I have been teaching uh, for a very long time already, there are some students, la, lalong lalo na kapag kulang na sila ng time, they, they easily jump into, into the lead no, without uh, reading the hint or the situation. Now that actually is safe because you are constrained or you are compelled to finish your examination before the time ends. Pero if you still have a lot of time, of course you need to read. No, The, the general principle there is you need to read the hint. Why? Because most of the time, 90 to 99 percent, si hint ay may kinalaman siya sa lead. Okay? You have to remember that. Okay. Now, now that you have already understood the question, kasi binasa mo, and you know your hint, you already know your lead, you need to go to your options. Know the options. Dalawa lang to. You need to understand the question and know your options or your choices. Number one type is yung tinatawag nating identical options. From the word itself, class identical, ibig sabihin pareho. Okay? And you cannot have two correct answers. If that is actually the correct answer, halimbawa, okay, you cannot have two correct answer in a one given question class. That's very, very technical. Okay? Sabi dito sa question na to, wherein we have an example of identical options para mas maintindihan lang natin. Anna has a pheochromocytoma. Which of the following would be a symptom of the said disease? Simply lang yung tanong class, may pheochromocytoma daw si Anna. Tapos tinatanong tayo, dito class, we have the lead and we actually have the hint natin dito class, is anhasafeochromocytoma. Okay? At si, ano naman natin dito, si lead, is which of the following would be a symptom of the, of the disease when we are actually pertaining to pheochromocytoma. Now, simply yung option, A, pruritus, B, low blood pressure, C, hypertension, letter D, hypotension. Notice class upon the options, pruritus, low blood pressure, hypertension, hypotension. Notice that letter B and your letter D class are actually identical options. 
pareho sila class. Low blood pressure and then hypotension. Yun yung sinasabi ko. You need to scrape all those, no, itong dalawa na to, to remove them, no? Ikis na natin yan. Kasi nga sabi ko sa inyo, we cannot have two correct answers in a given question. Okay? You now, you now have more chances of winning kung kanina 25%, ngayon mas tumaas to 50%. And we know that hypertension is actually a symptom of pheochromocytoma. Remember that. Okay? C is the correct answer in this question. First is that we need to know that there is what we call as identical options. Pangalawa. Pangalawa yung yung tinatawag naman natin incompatible options. Ito naman class from the word itself, incompatible. Sila yung hindi pwedeng magsama. Why? Because they are extreme. Sila yung nag-aaway na options. Okay? Sila yung nag-aaway. Uh, Magkontra sila. They are in the both ends. And most of the time, either, no? Nasa dalawa lang sa kanila ang tamang sagot. Example in this given question. Which of the following is not true about the Philippine nursing law? Alin daw sa mga sumusunod ang hindi tama about the Philippine nursing law? Letter A. It was enacted in 2002. Pangalawa. Letter B. It was enacted in 1991. Pangatlo. It provides that there shall be six members and one chairperson for the Board of Nursing. Letter D. It provides that the salary for entry-level nurses shall be not lower than SG-15. Okay, notice class that there was that there is an option it was enacted in 2002 and there is an option it was enacted in 1991. Okay, the two of them class, okay, ang dalawa na to class, these are years na kung saan mayroong dalawang versions ng Philippine Nursing Law or ang the law governing the nursing practice in the Philippines, magkaiba lang sila class ng batas, magkaiba sila ng taon, okay, wherein it was enacted. Isa sa kanila class is RA7164 at isa naman sa kanila is RA9173. And they cannot be uh, two both correct class. Bakit? Magiging identical options sila. At hindi to class identical options. Now what I'm trying to say is either of the two is the correct answer because they are incompatible. Ibig sabihin class, they are the ones that is extreme. Sila yung magkaaway. Okay, that's why we call it incompatible. Okay, and most of the time, kapag merong options class na nag-aaway, okay, nasa kanila class ang tamang sagot. Okay, in this case class, letter C is great that that's true, that the RA9173 provides that there shall be six members and one chairperson for the Board of Nursing. And letter D provides that salary grade for entry-level nurses shall not be lower than SG15 and that is actually provided under Section 32. And now, here, more chances of winning naman tayo. Parang kanina lang rin. Kung kanina 25%, ngayong class mas tumahas na tayo sa 50%. And the correct answer in this question is that it was enacted in 2002. That's why it is called as the Philippine Nursing Act of 2002. Because letter B class, that is the Philippine Nursing Law okay, of 1991, RA 7164. Tandaan niyo ha? Okay, you have to remember that one. Okay. We have learned about identical options, incompatible options. Number three naman class is yung tinatawag nating unsafe options. When we say unsafe options naman class, these are options na kapag pinili mo, okay, mas mataas ang chance mo class na hindi tama yung sinagot mo. Okay? Maya, malalaman, malalaman natin yan. Example, Maria is teaching a client about the herbal plant niyong niyogan. Which of the following daw is true? Letter A, it can be used in all types of parasitic diseases. Letter B, it is only used in helminthiasis. Letter C, it is used as, as an alternative for parasitic diseases. Letter D, it is used when needed for hypertension. Dito class, you know what? Dito class, uh, merong mga options class na merong silang uh, dangerous content or unsafe contents. Okay? Now, there are some words class that I have highlighted here. No? Example, in letter A, there is a word all. and letter B, there is a word only. No? And these are unsafe terms or unsafe words kung nasa options sila ng inyong board exam. 
Why? Because these are encompassing or definitive words in your options. And these are unsafe options. Dito, sa letter A, sinasabi, it can be used daw sa lahat ng parasitic disease. And that's very dangerous, okay, uh, to think about. Diba? Delikado class. Letter B, it is only used naman sa helminthiasis now. Okay? And it is also something that's dangerous class. That's why you have now a more chances of winning because you scrape that two, the first two options, and you only have, it is used as an alternative for parasitic diseases. Letter D, it is used when needed for hypertension. At alam natin, among sa ating herbal plants, the hyperten, uh, the herbal plant or the alternative plant for your hypertension is actually your bawang. Okay? That's why the best answer here, class, is letter C. It is used as alternative for parasitic diseases. Diba? That's actually the correct answer. Next naman, class, is yung tinatawag nating umbrella options. You know what? In every question sa board exam ninyo, there are some instances where, wherein magbabasa ka na and then mapapansin mo, ay parang tama naman lahat. Okay? And that's true. Most of the time, ganyan ang nangyayari. But, there is actually an option na siya yung mag, magsisilbing pinakatama. O kasi siya yung umbrella. Siya yung, kumbaga, siya yung pinaka-anchor ng lahat. Wherein yung ibang options ay under lang sa kanya. O kasi siya siya say, for example, dito. When taking care of a patient, what must be the priority of the nurse? Okay. Sabi dito, letter A, physiological need. Letter B, need for water. Letter C, need for food and nutrition. And letter D, freedom from pain. Okay. Dito, class, alam mo na lahat sila tama. Okay? Physiological need, need for water, need for food and nutrition, freedom from pain. Okay. Lahat sila mahalaga. Okay? Mahalaga si physiological need, si water, si food, pagkain, si freedom from pain. Actually, class, in these options, B, C, and D options, class, are just umbrella to option A. What I'm trying to say is that tama si water, tama si food, tama si pain, but under lang sila class sa physiological need as discussed and is given under the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Alam na alam natin yan. Okay? Umbrella options. Now we have learned about identical options, incompatible options, your unsafe options, and your umbrella options. I hope and I pray guys that we have learned something sa ating discussion para sa araw na to, how to answer unfamiliar board exam questions. Be updated, subscribe, and hit the button bell dito sa ating channel and we will be uploading more and more videos para mas patulungan pa natin ang ating mga future nurses. Gaganap ka ba? Lalaban ka ba? RN ka na ba? Okay? Guys, laban lang.